this f6, king f7 one more go, since we only drew with it last time. I have a feeling that I must have mishandled the opening. Oh my word, he's gone bishop c4. I think he knows the counter. He knows the counter. Well, we're still going to get the king to f7, even though it's been delayed. Playing Kazil from somewhere. Alright, this time around, what we're going to do is we're going to go for a quick c6 from d5 in order to bolster our king position in the centre. Alright, we're going to play d5 first before he gets to us. Why can't we take off that bishop? I think I can take that bishop off. My opponent says, oops. And I sympathise with him. Oops is definitely how I would be feeling as white here. Alright, now we can simply go for a quick bishop to this long diagonal. We're going to go for mate on g2 here. We should have a little bit of freedom. Now that we're a piece ahead. Uh, got to not get mated on e6. I think my opponent's worked out that trick as well. So let's just defend against that. Gonna defend for a little while. King's still quite open. But we're gonna get But we're going to get the hack attack going pretty quickly here. Maybe bring a rook across to e8, bring a knight out, rook to g8. Really gonna target this g2 square. So we're gonna try and like get all of the rest of our moves based around this plan of can we just do damage on h2 on g2 sorry because yeah like i was saying earlier it's the weakest square for a castled king uh for white it's the pawn on g2 for black it's the pawn on g7 although you know understandably if you play f6 king f7 things look a little bit different okay again i'm rushing takes queen check king there queen check takes queen check king there queen check is that some kind of really weird perpetual? Takes queen h5. If king there, bishop g5. With king there, queen g4. That's a really nice move. A really nice move. And if king back, queen h5. King there, knight there. T wow. Takes queen h5. King there, queen g4. King there, queen there. Well, we don't want to draw. Take oh, we can take with the knight. And then if queen h5, knight g6. So it's good we calculated that one through, guys. We came really close to throwing away our extra piece. But that was a really nice move. I'm... I'm still just really, really impressed. Because my had it been blitz, uh, I might well have been in trouble with the... Uh, had it been, you know, over the board, I might have been in trouble with the um, touch move rule. Because I just wanted to take that off straight away. I was like, ah, oh, he's got a check, and I go king there. And then it's a really weird perpetual. Queen g4, queen h5, with the king got nowhere to hide because king f6 is met with bishop g5 and the queen drops. So, yeah... Well, my opponent has definitely staved off my attack on g2 for the time being, but I have a feeling that uh, if I can just hold on another couple of moves, it will be coming back with a vengeance. Please do let me know what you think of tonight's show. You can reach me directly on Twitter, at T.E. Randall. Uh, this is episode 53 of Hack Attack. You know, I can't believe it either. Uh, the highlights of the previous videos are up on chess.com's YouTube channel, uh, so do go check them out there. Um, okay, let's just run away. I think my king is not very well placed on f7, guys. But yeah, I'm fairly certain they're all up there now. Whew. Oh, wow, that was his tactic. I'm just missing things tonight. I don't even believe I missed that. Well, there goes our pressure on um, G2. 
GT. In fact, is it exactly equal material after this? Well, it is if he takes that piece off. But he's being greedy. He doesn't even want to win it straight away. Well, okay. Two can play at that game. Ish. I mean, he's playing it much better than me, but... Well, we can't stop the queens getting swapped off here, guys. Or can we? No, no, we can't. I don't think, if it's any consolation, he's not going to swap the queens, because he's going to take and take on h5. He's going to play takes, queen takes, queen takes. And then we're still going to get him on... Um, on g2 eventually. But yeah, this has been a really sloppy game. Starting off all of these miniseries very, very dodgy. Well, I really hope my opponent's not going for a perpetual here. I'm not interested. I mean, I should take the draw, but I'm definitely not going to. Alright, let's turn up the heat here. Uh, I'm not sure about that move. F3 takes, takes, takes. That makes some sense to me as a variation. Ah. So now it would be mate. King there. Takes. Let's just take another pawn. So yeah, this rook is pinned. But he's got to watch out for this weak back rank. Less than 20 seconds on the clock. And my opponent's down to 23. It's two seconds incremented here, guys. I think the queen swap rule is going to... Is about to go out the window, though. Uh, as we're going to see a weird king and pawn ending. Uh, some kind of ending. My opponent's down to very little time as well. Uh, wow, that move is good. Okay, I can go king here. Because rook h3 is met with rook there. Alright, five seconds I've got left. My opponent's got ten. Oops. Takes, takes. So I need to get the rook coming in. Uh, rook there. We're not accepting a draw here. We're going for it. Well, now we've got that C pawn. It is time to hashtag push a pawn. And then push a pawn. And then queen a pawn. Uh, okay, we pushed a pawn and it didn't work. Uh, let's push the other pawns. Takes, takes. His king's hopefully too slow here. He needs his counterplay and he needs it fast. But yeah, his king's just way too far away. King moves up. And I'm up to 20 seconds here. And it's been a, another recovery from a very dodgy game. Uh, super sloppy there, but... Uh, we do come away with the win. Not being all that successful with the keeping the queens on. I have a feeling that going f6, king f7 is making these black games tougher. I've noticed that it's a lot tougher than other things. Alright, well, let's go back to playing our mysterious h-pawn pushes. I'm gonna leave a4 alone, because I don't, I don't think a4 really helps. I think it's just saying, yeah, he felt like he needed a little bit more time. And, yeah, I sympathise with him. That's that's the way I feel about Blitz a lot of the time. Okay. So, yeah, just going to try and target some dark squared control in this game. Um... Yeah, let's throw that pawn in the centre. Just because we go h4 and move one, guys, it doesn't mean that we're not looking to control the centre. Uh, okay, well. 
looks like my opponent doesn't want me to go e4 and win the game, but tough. I have some nasty ideas here, like bishop g5 and knight in if he's not careful, but... Okay, he's sidestepping some of them. Guess I should have been gone queen b3 first here, rather than allow him this, but... I'm going to claim that I just provoked h3 as a weakness and move on with the game. Main thing is just to not blunder away all of my pieces in this game, and see how that goes. So if he moves his knight away, then there's queen check. So I'm expecting bishop takes c3, bishop takes c3, knight e5 here. Is this not an extra piece for me? Ah, bishop d7, queen takes knight there, check. Just winking at my opponent there, I don't know if he noticed. So if queen takes bishop on b4, knight d3... Pins the queen. He's asking me why he I didn't take the bishop. And yeah, so the pawn on e2 is pinned, and he forks the queen on b4 with the king on e1. So yeah, I think he got a little bit lucky there, because he definitely didn't see that tactic coming. Uh, and I managed to pull myself out of it moments before. Moments before. Uh, on the plus side, my opponent seems to be taking some time to discuss this. And he really should move some pieces, because he's down to a minute 30, and we saw in that last game, running short on time is not helping. Okay, well let's just do this. Again, we're leaving our king in the centre, waiting for our opponent to castle first. You know, we're going to have time for... One more mini-series after that. It might have to be one minute chess. In fact, I think it probably will be. Um, because, yeah, don't don't forget, guys, there is, uh, there is lots more to come on uh, chess.com TV tonight. There is the highlights of uh, the Grand Prix from Norway. Um, well, I think I'm going to take the piece this time round. Really going to take that piece. Uh, yeah, the highlights from Norway of the Grand Prix, which is the final round, with moving into it, Topolov had a half point lead over Anand. Um, yeah. With Carlsen playing his fellow Norwegian player, uh, John Ludwig Hammer. So yeah, tune in for all of the highlights from that. And... Yeah, later on there's uh, there's chess with Melik and me. So, yeah. So much to come tonight on chess.com TV. But for the moment, we are just attempting to close out this game a piece ahead without allowing our opponent the ridiculous amount of counterplay we had out in the last game. So one idea was to go queen d4, try and persuade him to move this knight and give checkmate on g7. As I've emphasised many times, g7 is the weakest square for the opponent In uh, now that he's castled. If I go king there, he can go check. That doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to get my king off that file. Really struggling to put away guys tonight. Uh, getting the winning positions, but not... Just not being really smooth. So I think the answer is I just need to play a little bit more blitz chess. So going to be trying to log into chess.com a little bit more over the coming days and weeks and uh, seeing if that makes any difference. <clears throat> so I've got a bit of chess coming up. There's a very strong tournament in London in King's Place in a couple of weeks. that I haven't entered yet, but I'm certainly intending to. Um... And, yeah, players like Gwayne Jones and Matthew Saddler are going to be playing. And if I'm going to have any chance, then I need my blitz to be on, you know, really top form. Uh, okay, well, my opponent's finally blundered away the second piece. But, uh, yeah, there we go. All right, well, uh, I've already been given a challenge to one minute chess, so... Kudos to Jake57689 to getting in the challenge so quickly, uh, as we will t finish tonight's show 
with a quick one minute series. Oh, I forgot my time's already going. Uh, okay. Going to attempt to still commentate through this and maintain my rules of castles on the opposite side of the board and queens on to the end. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Oops. How did I just give away my bishop? I am really bad, guys. Really, really bad. This is one of the least impressive one-minute games I have ever played. I mean, not only am I lost, but I'm comfortably behind on the clock. So, we'll have to see what kind of comeback we can manage from here. But, uh... I've had worse positions, I suppose. Let's run the king away. Need to get this king back, and then running away again. It's important to guess what my opponent's moves are before they come. Uh... Alright, well, we have a hack down the H file. Excellent stuff. There's a piece back. It's a threat down on G2. Let's open up this diagonal for the bishop with F5 as well. I think we're going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Uh, we've caught back up on the clock. Equal material. Uh, okay. There's actually in a lot of danger here. I need to get my king safe. Because uh, there are a whole bunch of nasty tactics that I'm walking into. Uh, I'm threading mate close to. Uh, d4. Ooh. Takes. Uh oh. Uh, I think we're going to get mated anyway here, guys. With rookie 8. Uh oh. Takes. King moves. Panicking. 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 Rook moves. Rook moves. Takes. King moves. We lost on time. Well, that was terrible. Right, we're going to carry on until we win until we win this series. I can't believe how slow and how terrible I was there. There you go, all of my rating points. I swear I used to be like 2500 at 1 minute chess. But uh this is depressingly bad. Uh wasn't even a particularly good game. Uh, I mean, I was completely lost and managed to fight back and lost it again from an okay position. So, not a lot to say about that. And this game is not an awful lot better. I think it's just been a long show. It's been a long show. Yeah. Alright, well, we have an extra pawn here. We're going to be nice and professional. Oh, we didn't cast on the opposite side of the board to our opponent. Well, we're going to keep the queens on. Ah, uh, he's got a... <sighs> that was... He's really fast, this guy. If, if I took that off, he had perpetual. So... Alright, let's get this going a little bit faster. I was a bit unlucky... I was really close to mating him, but he had a bit of counterplay. And I just couldn't get it under control quickly enough. Oh, my word. Takes this off. I'm not getting mated just yet. King comes back around. Alright, I want to swap this off this way. Okay, he's not taking that way, obviously. Uh, takes. Here. Yeah. So running away with the king time. Let's go d5. And... Oh, that should be good news for me. There we go. That's one all. Uh, 
accepting the rematch. Really hope I win this second. This uh, I'm gonna call it four games. Two, two with white, two with black. Okay, we're gonna play like a Stonewall Dutch. Something that's actually recognisable as an opening. I'm not gonna risk something in uh, such an important series. My opponent's playing really quickly in the opening. It's quite unnerving. Players on chess.com have really improved their one-minute skills, I have to say. I am very impressed. Let's just keep taking pieces and see if we come out ahead. I think we do. Ah, uh, why am I playing? Oh, why am I playing such terrible, 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 terrible moves? Maybe we can escape, and um, we do escape. There we go. But that was really more luck than judgment. Uh, let's throw this into complete chaos. Let's just look after that bishop. Okay, we've got a fairly safe extra pawn, uh, extra piece here. 29 seconds to 19. There shouldn't be any way for us to throw this away. Let's just make absolutely sure nothing bad is happening to us on that line. Uh, queens can come off. It's it's late. I think we failed that uh, that aim for the evening. Oh, we get a nice mate in two though. That's something at least. All right, which brings us to our very last game of tonight's show. And 1h4 to finish it off. Uh, we're going to see if we can keep pace with this guy without blundering all of our pieces away. Could be something of a challenge, but, uh, but there we go. So we force a weakness over there. Let's double up some pieces. Let's make sure nothing bad is happening. You can go knight g3, but so what? Let's get ready and castle on the queen side. As you can tell, I'm getting looser and looser with these rules as the evening moves on. And I'm close to getting the queen trapped. Uh, let's see if I can... Oh, why, why am I not taking this pawn off? Don't know. Don't have a good reason. Let's just bring in some pieces for reinforcement here. Ah! How am I allowing him this kind of counterplay? Game after game after game. You can play A takes, so I'm going Queen B1. Knight takes, Pawn takes, Bishop A3, King D2. Okay, We're, we've got it under control again. He has a few seconds to find some kind of trick. I'm defending against Knight takes there. Okay. I mean, 20 out of 10 for my opponent for creativity. Uh, in trying to stay in the game here, but it's just too little too late. And that is going to be that. And that does, in fact, wrap things up for tonight's show. Uh, Hack Attack will be back in three weeks' time on 